Yeah, pretty good. Um, you know, <laughs> there are a lot of teams who, um, you know, have might have some guys who, you know, once you, you know, don't make the playoffs or you see that your team's out of it, um, you know, some guys that, that might kind of just low off and, you know, kind of figure out where they're going on vacation and everything. And, uh, and, and that's one thing that we're trying not to do here. Um, and I think our team did a great job of that today out there at practice. Um, so I feel like preparation is going as if every other week, um, you know, we talked that, you know, these next two games, we want to finish strong for, um, you know, not only to, to see ourselves for the team, but for next season as well. And uh, what it be like playing against a guy like J.J. Watt here who announced his retirement? Yeah, you know, he's going to be amped up, um, ready to go. Obviously, wants to finish career on a high note. Um, and, you know, I, I know our guys up front are, are going to love that challenge of, of taking him on and everything. Um, but, you know, I think we're just preparing as if, you know, another week and an, another opportunity to get better. And uh, how do you prepare for a, a guy like Justin Simmons to show up in a lot of different places on that defense over there? Yeah, number nine on that side of the ball, you know, he, he flies around and can play nickel, safety, linebacker up on the D-line. He can play a little bit of everywhere. Um, so, you know, it's really about just not keying in on one person, but just seeing, you know, how the defense reacts overall from the different places that he's at um, on the field, the different times of the game. Um, and then going out and playing your game. Arthur was talking about those first couple of games being a pretty tough test. You have two road games, you have a cold weather game, you got different styles of pretty good defenses. Obviously, you want wins there, but if you want to uh, look at it a little bit closer, do you think that, that you're better for that challenge? You're better for that experience, uh, which may have been tough, but you may Oh, 100 percent. Um, you know, I, I think that, you know, no matter win or loss, you're going to have experiences in the game, um, whether good or bad, that you're going to learn from. Um, and so obviously, you know, we, we've taken two losses in the past two weeks and that I've started. And, uh, you know, they're all learning experiences for my spells, myself, especially. Um, but, you know, I don't think it, it matters who we play or where we play or when we play. Um, you know, no matter good or bad, you're going to have a learning experience. Oh, 100 percent, especially, you know, for myself and throughout the team. Um, you know, I think we're growing each and every week. And, uh, you know, we wanted to get up and over these humps and, and you know, kind of find our way on an uphill climb. And obviously, we haven't done that. Um, but, you know, you, you see out there at practice that guys are showing up every single day ready to work. Um, guys want to come compete every single day. And, you know, that's something to be grateful for. I know a lot is made of your connection with Drake London. But I think something that's maybe not as big of a deal that people are kind of looking from the outside in is connection and kind of how you kind of fostered that in a short window of time. Yeah, I think, um, you know, it kind of goes, I'm not even going to single out Drew, but just a connection with the whole line and offense as a whole. Um, you know, from the first day I stepped foot here, you know, one of my you know goals was obviously to be the leader of the offense, you know, the starting quarterback. And uh, part of that goes into leadership and, and building relationships and building friendships. Um, so I just feel like, you know, the way that I do that with um, whether it's O-line, D-line, you know, safeties, wide receivers, it doesn't matter who it is. Um, you know, I, I want to put my best foot forward, and, um, and you know, we just kind of gel together. It's just how it goes. Is there, I mean, even obviously the quarterback center relationship is an important one. I mean, when it comes to kind of y'all's communication, how has that progressed in the last two weeks of actually getting to play together? Yeah, obviously, you know, there, there's some instances that, you know, you try to practice, you know, before those, you know, two weeks ago, and, and, and you get some instances that happened in the game two weeks ago that you got to fix for, you know, last week. Um, and, and so forth. And so, you know, new things come up every single week that, you know, you might not have seen before as, as us as a pair um, that we have to be ready for. Um, and, you know, we, we tried as, as hard as we can to figure out, you know, kind of put a list together of, of what those were and, you know, kind of repped them during practice throughout the weeks. Um, and I just felt like, you know, we've done a good job of, of kind of gelling and, and being on the same page of everything. Um, what would be the key to uh, not uh, to a fast start in this game? I know. Uh, last two games, you got down 14 and had to scramble back. Mm -hmm. What be the key to come out, you know, coming out hot against us? Yeah, I think I think you know the preparation throughout this week, um, and then just going into Sunday, um, you know, just preparing a, as if we would every other week, but just knowing um, that when we step out on that field, you know, there can't be any laws, can't be any lollygags, um, and like we said, we we you know we've preached it, um, you know, so much last week, and now we're you know preaching it hard this week is we got to start fast um, and, and finish the entire game, and so. Uh, you know, if we can't do that, then we got to find something that works. It was, it was right before the Ravens game, or at least as warm-ups were starting, you <coughs> stood in front of, of the tunnel, make sure that you, you know, kind of acknowledged all the linemen like that were coming out. Mm -hmm. And it seems like you're doing that a lot in game two. I think everybody thinks about leadership, about like big speeches and stuff. Is part of that just 
little check-ins and, you know, kind of being Oh, able to yeah, 100 percent. Um, and it's a little check-ins before the game. It's a little check-ins of practice. And, you know, sometimes you'll send me out of practice and maybe go up to a receiver and, uh, you know, that first, like, 10 seconds is communication about what just happened. And then, you know, there might be five seconds where I'm joking to you. Um, and so, you know, it's just about kind of mixing it up and keeping everyone on their toes. Um, but also, you know, and at the end of the day, the business is business. Um, and, you know, we got to get things done. But, yeah, that's just part of the way my leadership goes and, you know, how I've been taught and um, how I've kind of handled, you know, my life as a quarterback. Going back to where you're talking about at the beginning, where you're talking about, like, self-motivation and, and making sure that guys come out and practice the way you all have been the last few weeks. Is that kind of the marker of knowing that these guys are self-motivated in this locker room, that this team is still self-motivated to go out in these final two games? Yeah, and, you know, that's something that I had to kind of, you know, talk to the coaches about and, and some of the older guys about it is for, for me is being a rookie. Um, you know, like I said, you, you coming into NFL, you hear about that as far as, um, you know, oh, teams don't want to play anymore, they're out of playoffs, this or that. And so you, I had actually had to ask some of the coaches, like, you know, how do, how do people respond to that? You know, how do the players respond to that? You know, what's the, what's the vibes like when we come back into the locker room on Monday or Tuesday? How's it going to be? Um, and, and, you know, we just talked and we was like, we don't, we don't think we have those guys. Um, we don't think we have those guys that go out there and, um, you know, book their flights and, and get everything ready for the off season, um, rather than just, you know, being in the place where their feet are at um, one day at a time and just taking it day by day. Are you excited to play your first home game? <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm excited. Logan, <laughs> how you, uh, you throw your first touchdown pass? I don't know. I've been thinking about that for two weeks. Trust <laughs> me. I've been thinking.